My name is Grant Harold, known as the Royal Butler, and I'm with Captain Hashmi on the Queen Mary 2 to talk about the etiquette for an afternoon tea. Captain, I'm really interested about your, your hat because obviously you've, you're, you're holding it and is that to do with the etiquette about gentlemen taking the hat off when you go indoors? Is it the same on a ship? It probably originates from that but the Merchant Navy and in fact Royal Navy etiquette does dictate that uh, the master or the officer would only wear the cap outdoors on deck. But once you're indoors on a ship, the cap comes usually under your left arm and stays off. And female officers, at least in the Merchant Navy, do keep their hats They do on keep them indoors, on. Yes. So that's interesting because I was taught that with hat etiquette, you know, gentlemen always remove the hats, but ladies, ladies can keep the hats on, which a lot of people today don't know. So I love that there's a bit of a crossover there with the, the, the etiquette on a ship and the etiquette uh, on land. So Captain, the first thing we're going to do is our napkin etiquette. I normally leave mine in half and place it on my lap. When you have the larger napkins, it's always said that the crease uh, for the gentleman is towards them and for the ladies the crease is away, so that the ladies can pick up a corner, they can dab, and then when they place it back down it conceals the lipstick and any crumbs. If you had lipstick on, which obviously we, we, <laughs> we don't. So Captain Hashmi, as uh, we're having an afternoon tea and, and you're very kindly hosting it, would you like to do the honours and, and play mother, as they say? Certainly, but I wasn't sure who would be hosting. I've hedged my bets by having the handle of the teapot towards me and the handle of the milk jug towards yourself, but uh, I'll be delighted. It becomes quite a big discussion point, doesn't it? How you take your tea. Yes, yeah, certainly, and not only pouring tea, but how to stir the tea. Now, sailors are very careful because usually the ship will be moving. We'd normally be going back and forth. Wow. Back and forth, just like the ship. This is, this, I love this, this is exactly what I've been saying for years, because a lot of people will do it in the secular motion, and I always say that if you do that, you're going to cause a storm in that, a teacup. Exactly, sailors are superstitious, so Isn't we don't want fantastic? to create a storm in the teacup. I love that, that is amazing. So that's obviously where that saying comes Absolutely. from. Absolutely. This is great, this is wonderful. I've been doing it right all these years. <laughs> And then, Captain, we move on to these wonderful selection for the afternoon tea we've got here. What order would you normally do this in? Um, usually, I would go bottom up, uh, working my way up the yes, uh, selection that's tray. That's exactly what I would do. So sandwiches, then the scones, and then last day uh, with, the, with the cakes. After you. Thank you. So, Captain, now we move on to the scones. So very soon, you're going to reveal my decades-old conundrum, okay. whether it's jam or cream first. Do you know, it's funny, it's, it's one of the biggest debates. My question to you is, Captain, what do you do? Do you do cream or jam first? Well, I'm going to upset either Devon folk or the Cornish folk, but uh, I've always gone as a simple sailor for jam first. So you do the, the Cornish way, where yes. you put the cream on top. Um, I prefer to do it the, the Devon way, where I like to put my cream first and then right. my jam. I can only assume, Captain, that when you have your breakfast and you have your toast, you put your butter on top of your jam. Yes, that's how I win the argument every time. <laughs> 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 Captain, thank you for inviting me on Cunard's Queen Mary 2. This has been a wonderful afternoon tea. In fact, can I say even a little bit royal with all this uh, royal portraits and paintings and memorabilia around us. I, I feel a bit nostalgic as well today. So thank you for this um, amazing experience. It's a pleasure having you on the Queen Mary 2 and look forward to you sailing with us again in the near future. Chin chin. chin, chin. <laughs>